Hi guys, and today we'll be covering a $1,000 editing workstation build. Now, let's get right into it with a CPU. For the CPU, we'll be getting an Intel Core i7-4790K 40GHz quad-core processor. It costs just $359.98, which is really good for an i7. Um, it's a non-lock processor, um, which we'll be needing a CPU cooler for. That's why um, cooling it, we'll be getting a Noctua NHD14 um, CPU cooler. It costs $74.89 and will cool your CPU like a breeze. You can overclock the CPU and it'll still get really good um, overclocking performance and your temperatures will be low. I didn't go for water cooling because it's more complicated. You have the risk of leakage and all that type of stuff. If you th this is the first PC that you're building, you want to stick with air cooling. Okay, now that we're done with the CPU section of this build, let's go on with the motherboard. The motherboard is a Gigabyte GAZ97HD3P80XLGA1150 motherboard. It costs $94.99. Um, it has PCIe Express um, 3.0. It has uh, USB 3.0 headers. It has onboard USB 3.0 on your I.O. Um, it has um, M.2 support, it has 4 RAM slots, and pretty much everything you'll want for a modern day um, s PC build. Sorry, dear. Um, so now that we're done with the motherboard, there's pretty much nothing else to explain with it. Um, let's go on to the memory. For the memory, we'll be getting um, 16 gigabytes of Crucial Ballistic Sports. There's two sticks of eight gigabytes in the kit um it's clocked at ddr3 1600 megahertz it costs just 74.99 and it's a really good deal for 16 gigabytes of ram it doesn't get any better than that for ram and now let's move on to storage for storage, we'll be getting a Samsung 850 Evo series 250GB SSD. It comes at at $88.89 and you'll be able to put your OS on it and some key apps and like games that you play. But let, I'm going to warn you, this isn't a gaming PC. So I think you better use it to put Sony Vegas, snag it and Photoshop on it if you do that kind of stuff. And then we've also got a Seagate Barracuda 2 terabyte, 3.5 inch drive, um, it's 7200 RPM, it comes in at 6789, which will give you a mass storage. Um, you'll be able to put your editing videos, editing pictures, your, um, your big apps, like if you want to play GTA on this, which I don't suggest, but you can throw it on there. Um, and that's everything for storage, now let's get on to the video card. For the video card, we'll be getting an EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. It has 2GB of VRAM. Um, it's a super clogged version from EVGA. It comes in at $139.99. It has a $10 mail-in rebate, which is really good for um, this graphics card. It's really popular, um, and I do suggest it. If you fit can fit in this budget uh, GTX 960, go with that. But if your budget is one thousand dollars, not more, this is the maximum that you can get. It's a really good video card. You can play League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Max L, Battlefield 4 and High, GTA on low to medium settings, and overall really good settings. Now let's go on to with the power supply. For the power supply, we'll be getting a um, Rosewool 500 watt 80 plus gold certified power supply. Um, it costs $59.99 only. Rosewool is a really good power supply brand. Um, overall, it's a really good power supply and it will power um, these components with a breeze. And that's pretty much it for the power supply. Now let's get on to the case. 
for the case we'll be getting an NZXT Source 210 Elite White ATX Mid Tower case. It costs $52.99. Um, you'll need a caddy for um, the 850 Evo. I'll put that in the PC part curling if they do have caddies, or else I'll put an Amazon link for a caddy. A caddy pretty much is something that transforms from 2.5 um, inch to 3.5 inch drive bay. Um, and the NZXC Source 10 comes in white, black, and I have the white version, the PC part picker link that I'm going to put down below. Um, but there's also a black version, you can get whichever you want. As I said, it costs $42.99, which is really good for this case. As you can see, it's a really popular case. It has one fan on the back, one fan on the top, and two fans in the front. If you want, you can put another fan on the top. Um, but as it's a late version, you get tons of fans with it. So if you don't like the noise that they do, you can get some fans like the Noctua um, fans that are on the CPU cooler. Those are really quiet fans, which I really do suggest in the long term. Maybe not as you buy it, get the fans, but later on just buy the fans. And that's pretty much it for the build. Um, we're gonna wrap it up here. There's a PC port picker link down below. Um, in the description, I'll leave the link for the caddy down below too. So if you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Uh, comment, subscribe. And as this is my first video on this channel, I have another channel, um, but that's gaming. It's not related to technology. Um, uh, please support so we can get views and let the channel grow. Thanks, and I'll be seeing you next time with another build.